point one, right? Okay. So this thing, right, it's roughly going to be 10 angle pi over 2, 3 angle 0. This thing's pretty much just 100. This thing's pretty much just point 0.1. Um, and so then we go through and do some multiplying. And we get 30 one hundredths. Uh, angle what? Pi over 2 minus point 0.1. Um, and that is just 3 tenths angle. And at this point, you would end up calculating it because pi over 2 and point 0.1 don't play nice. So you end up getting this. OK, right? OK, so then what is, uh, what is Vs, Vls1 of t? <coughs> yeah? What's omega? Yeah. OK, did we do that right, pi? Yeah, OK, cool. OK, so that's the left source. OK, we're going to do the right one really fast, because I just want to point out one thing that comes up algebraically. That came from the sum of the squares of a square of a and b, right? So it's the sum of 100 squared plus 10 squared, yeah. OK. So now we do the other circuit. Messily. OK, so this is 100, right? Uh, what's this guy going to be now? So this is omega. So what's this source turn into, first of all? Yeah. OK. And we'll just say omega equals 100 here, right? So for bookkeeping reasons. Um, so what's Z, C going to be? <coughs> yeah, let's see. In this case, it's negative 1 over, yeah, 1 over J, 100, 10 to the 6, 10 to the minus, or oh, sorry, minus 6. Uh, it's 10 to the 4th J, minus. OK, that's C. And then L is just what? 100 J. 100 J, OK, piece of cake. All right, <clears throat> so let's say this time we want to find, uh, same thing, right? This time we want to find um, B, B, L, S, 2. What's V, L, S, 2? Left over the sum. Is voltage divider you're saying? Yeah. Almost. Uh, so this is, sorry, 100J minus 10 to the fourth J. OK, so 100J over uh, 100J. OK, uh, sorry, I need to leave myself more room. Yeah, it's, so, and sorry, Z left is, that's Z left. Z left over Z left plus 100J. Okay, That's not everything yet, though. I think that's the first time I've ever done that thing where the zeros do that. So you guys saw it. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm speeding through, so yeah. Where? Yeah, here? Top board, yeah. Yeah, that 10j minus 10 to the fifth j, it's very small. Uh, well, the point at which something is insignificant depends on your tolerance, right? So in this case, the differences between it being 100,000 uh, or uh, 99,990, right? So that's pretty close, I guess, is the difference, right? So 10 to the fifth, right, is 100,000? 10 to the threes, well, it, 10 to the threes getting a little dicey. Maybe it still will be OK, right? But I'm just saying, right? I mean, I just arbitrarily decided I don't care about 10 to the fourth, if that's the difference, right? So I'm just saying, you can approximate it by that. 
If you want, you can find the exact amount by which it'll be off. And what you'll find is that it's going to be like 0.01% off, right? So I'm just saying, hey, with some experience, you'll realize that 10 to the fourth is a pretty big difference. So yeah. And that things like the uh, capacitance tolerances or like your voltage noise and your voltage source would just dominate. Oh, I see. Uh, well, in that case, right, it would just be, um, you'd end up with a different expression for, uh, I mean, you would just write out, instead of writing 10 to the fifth J there, you would write 99,990J, and then get a different answer, right? So instead of getting 10J, you'd get like 9 point, or you'd get like 10.121. You need a calculator. That's kind of the answer, right? I didn't want to use a calculator much. No, no, you would write it out as the actual whole number, right? At that point, you'd write it as 99990J. And that would be your, that's the number you're now carrying around. That's magic. Yeah. Uh, OK, cool. Uh, so here, so we're not done, right? We want VLS2. What's it going to be? Times 5 angle 0. Yeah, OK. That's not everything, though, right? So what does this quantity tell us? <coughs> so I'll give you another thing. Let's call this v hat, uh, v hat x. Okay. Are v hat x and vls2 the same number? No, right? You see why, Dan? This is v hat x. This is vls2. It, sorry, vls2 is the voltage across them, right? So what's the difference? Why are VX and VLS2 different? Because the other side's not ground, right? Yeah, OK. So VLS2 is what? It's this. This right here is VX, as I've drawn it. So what do we need to do here? Yeah, minus 5 angle 0. OK. So <coughs> the branch voltage is the difference between the node voltages, if you'd like. Um, OK, so without belaboring the point too much, we can do a similar set of approximations and stuff. And what we'll end up getting in pretty quick order uh, is that z left is about uh, 100. OK, and the reason is you have two, uh, two things in parallel. You have 10 squared and minus 10 to the fourth j. The 100 is pretty much going to dominate the expression when you do it and ends up just coming out of the 100. So uh, you know, I invite you to try it, but it's not hard. And you just do some algebra, and you find that, OK, it's 100. So there's kind of this general rule that will come in very handy when you're doing these circuits, which is that two things in parallel are dominated by the one with a small magnitude. You don't have to know that, but it'll save you a lot of work doing algebra. And you know, I guess on a midterm, I would say something like, if the difference is 10 to the fourth, you may ignore and do the parallel much faster. right? OK, so you find z left is 100. And so that basically just means that VLS2 is 100. Or sorry, OK. Yes. Pardon? C left is this box, that whole left side, because we were doing this voltage divider thing. So hopefully you can see that that whole left side uh, voltage divider style will give you this. So this is 5 minus 5. OK, so if we want to combine this all into one big expression, what will we need to do? 